Good times create weak people. Weak people create bad times. Bad times create strong people. Strong people create good times. My whole thing is leaders anticipate, losers react. If you can anticipate what's coming, you can really take advantage. If you wait till it hits you, you're in trouble. The biggest problem people have is they think they're not supposed to have any. Problems are the fuel for growth. It's like, if you don't have any problems, you're either a liar or you might call them challenges. It feels better. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Anybody who doesn't have problems is either totally asleep at the wheel or they don't have much of any kind of a life. But then there's fulfillment. And fulfillment is living what you're made for. Is it a lack of confidence? No, it's a lack of mission. I like winning. I like being the best at what I do. So I'm not going to settle for less than that. Why would I? It's a shift in your identity. Every single day, six days a week. What matters? A few subjects. Your body. Because your energy matters. That energy is low. Everything I just said is worthless to you. Because when you're low energy, you don't use your full intelligence or ability. You need emotion. If you don't know how to master your emotion, emotions start wars. Emotion creates peace. Emotion gets your children. Emotion is what can make that business work or fail. And most people don't know how to direct their own emotions. Let me be conscious about feeding my brain things that are going to give me not only inspiration, but insight and skill and tools. 68% of the Fortune 1000 were started in either a recession or a depression. Well, the first skill you got to master to be great is the ability to recognize patterns. When humanity recognized the pattern of the seasons, the whole world changed. Because we went from hunter-gatherers trying to survive from place to place where we're exposed to everything to, wait a second, if we plant in the springtime, we protect in the summer, we reap in the fall, and then we hang on to some of that so we can live through the winter, that created communities for the first time, and then eventually cities and states and countries. So that changed the world. What will change a person's life is when you realize there's also a set of seasons in your own life. And so think of it this way. Zero to 21 is springtime. Things are easy to grow in springtime. You don't have to do that much. Growing as a kid happens naturally. But overall, life is supporting you. It's sending you, teaching you, sharing with you. Now, when you get from, you know, 21 to 41 or 22 to 42, whatever range you want to talk about, you now are in the real world. And now you go test what you learned in your springtime. So you start to learn, test, figure out what's real. And it's an important stage of life. 42, 43 to 62, 63 is the power of your life. If you worked hard in the spring and the summer and you put yourself out there and you planted, it's a reaping time. It's a time when you really become a leader. And then if you're lucky... You go from 63 to 83 and maybe 83 to 103 and you have an extended final season of your life where you get to be the mentor. You get to share. You get to make a difference. And maybe towards the end of your life, people look out for you again if you looked out for everybody else. That's kind of the cycle of life. Winter's not forever. No pandemic lives forever. Everything changes and everything ends. And the good news about winter is it's always followed by springtime. What follows the night? The daytime. What a cool way to set it up if you were God or the universe. The first thing I do every single morning is I go in freezing cold water. And when you jump in, it never feels good to go in. But getting out, you feel incredible. But I, I do it for a different reason. I do it to train my brain to say, when I say now, it means now. When I say go, we go. I don't stand there because it's cold and go maybe in a minute when I'm ready. But I always do it because I've trained my brain. This is how we work. And if you train your brain to do that every single day, then it'll do it on the more difficult and important things in life. But the essence of it is I change my body radically. Most people just don't understand that you are being primed all the time. And unless you prime yourself, you're going to be primed by the environment. Good times create weak people. Weak people create bad times. Bad times create strong people. Strong people create good times. Create good times.